Guys, let's talk pens. <laughs> um, I have so many pens. Um, I have a full drawer of them. Um, so I've tested pretty much every pen you can get on our books. So let me run you through the pros and cons of using different sorts of pens and the ones that I like to use in my book. Okay, number one, pencils. Pencils are fabulous. Yes, you can use them in your books. Um, they are amazing. They are nice and soft. They're not going to seep through the paper. Um, you can erase them. They're magical. If you like the look of pencil, go ahead. Um, I quite like the look of um, a thicker, more permanent ink. So if that's you, then follow, keep watching. We'll show you through some pens. Um, otherwise, go with pencils. They're fabulous. All right, there are a bunch of different pens that you can use. Um, you could use a ballpoint, a normal biro that you've got laying around the house. That's really good. Um, you can use some felt tips. I've got some a thin felt tip here and a thicker felt tip. Um, when we're talking pens, the number one thing you need to know about the pen that you're about to pick up is, is it alcohol based? Now that's really important because all alcohol based markers will bleed through our paper and any paper. They do not like paper that does not have that isn't super thick like cardboard or that um, doesn't have some sort of plastic so for example if you wanted to write on the cover of your blueberry co baby book uh, use a permanent marker this our covers all have a plastic cello coating to protect it so that's what you use on the cover but do not use it on the pages because it will bleed right through so that's the number one lesson you need to know before you go and um, choose a pen uh, the other thing is, have a look at colours and thicknesses. So if you like a biro, go ahead. I've used biros in mine, they're great. Otherwise, look at some felt tips. Um, these are great. You can also use like the ink ball points. Um, I don't use them personally because I hate how the ink will pull at the end of a stroke. So that to me leaves room for smudging. So I don't use those for those reasons. And I prefer a felt. Um, felt tip so I've used both of these in my books these are this is a Stadler um, fine liner which if you are in a blue Road Co baby book club you'll know lots of people have these in our baby book club and they're really fabulous um, this one is a 0.2 millimeter one I think um, so it's very fine if that is you and you like using it go right ahead they're really great they're water-based um, and then one of my favorite ones to use is this art line um, 0.6 mi uh, millimeter pen and that's nice and thick and I quite like it because my neatest handwriting is quite big and chunky and so this gives me the best finished handwriting. My number one tip when it comes to choosing pens is to grab all the pens you have in the house and write on a bit of paper and if there's one that you prefer my suggestion is to go with that I found that the pens that I like to write with and that give me the neatest handwriting um, so for example uh, pencils and ballpoints I just tend to scribble with whereas this thick pen I write nice and big and thick even strokes um, so if there's one that you prefer, grab that and go with it. And you can choose different colors. Most pens will come in like multiple colors. Um, you could probably even play with a line, line weight. So this one goes down to a 0 0.2 millimeter. Um, so find the one that you like and then do what I do and leave it in the binding of your book. And that's how I make sure that every single page is the same because every time I pick it up to fill it out, I've got the one pen that I like to use and it's there with it. And so every page is consistent. Well, all my pages aren't consistent because all my books are testing grounds. Um, so I can test out pens for you guys, but that is how you can get the consistent pages. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. And that's my number one tip is just test out a bunch of pens, um, test them on paper, make sure they don't bleed and give it a go. Okay, don't forget that every single one of our books comes with a test page at the back. So if you want to test out your handwriting, you want to test out some different pens that you've got lying around the house, flip to the back page. This is the same paper as all the other pages in the book. So you can just write and write and write and you can test out all the different pens you would like. You can even rip this out and take this with you to your local stationery store and test out different pens. So um, we put that in there so that you can get the best out of your books and you can test anything you've got at home and anything you want to purchase. So go ahead and use that. 
Thanks guys. If you like that video, um, please head over and hit like and subscribe. Um, otherwise, check out our other videos. If you haven't yet, um, head on over and join our Blue Road Co. Baby Book Club. I'll put the link in um, the description below and follow us on Instagram. We really love it and we love to see your finished pages. So comment below if you've got any other questions and I'll hopefully be able to address them soon. Cheers. Okay, so I guess that comes, okay, so I guess that brings us through to uh, you would like to use.